the journey there is something connected to me whose value i barely understood until today it is my country of origin i knew from my parents we have a cultural phrase that says janani janma bhumishya swarga dapi gariyasi mother and motherland is superior to heaven the truth is i don't know much about my country bhutan but every time i hear my parents soft and innocent voices i can easily feel their patriotism towards bhutan the journey that i have been through is a combination of struggle and hope that is i had been struggling for decades in a refugee camp for repatriation but i never gave up the hope of a good future i never had a window to peep through the world just a simple glimpse until my family and i resettled in halifax canada i had a small world about the area of 14 hectares of land where i lived and grew up in eastern nepal for 21 years we were under the basic aid of international organizations like unhcr who lwf and many others sometimes now i wonder how we could survive even being in exile for so long we lived under the tremendous crisis of lacking everyday basic needs there were days of empty stomachs nights without a good sleep or a pair of slippers for many years Moreover in the course of 21 years in the refugee camp there had been ongoing tragic events such as fire rampages that melted everyone's hearts into the mountain of ashes floods that swept everyone corrid and 17 bilateral talks of repatriation that ended without conclusion Even so the hopes of a better life is tall had never gotten buried because the international humanitarian organization were always there to implant the hope of a good future in every single family in the atmosphere of chaos for two decades in refugee camps the international humanitarian organization brought a proposal of third country resettlement for us this program was conducted voluntarily and free from third party interference but there were no choices left rather we could stay in the camp hoping fruitlessly to be repatriated or voluntarily agreeing to leave for third country resettlement my parents and i thought to resettle in any of the third countries because we knew that there would be no solution to our problem to live in a camp lifelong We decided to resettle in Canada for the rest of our future. In December 2011, we landed in Halifax, Canada through the resettlement program brought by the international humanitarian organization called IOM. Since then, 
My family have been learning to adapt to a new country, new lifestyle, and in a multicultural way. I am happy to be living in Halifax, Canada, with so many job opportunities, good health care, and better education. Therefore, I am hoping that I will have a better job, good housing, and peaceful livelihood for the rest of my life in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. I am very thankful for Nepal for letting us live in their soil in our hard time and share their freedom with us for decades.